everybody again. Welcome to Royal Door. And one very common issue that we always have is people call me up and say, why is the panel shifted to one side on my door? Well, we don't make them that way. When we do make them, we try to center the panel to the best of our ability. If you recall our previous segment, the panels are free-floating. We have that little bit of space for the panel to expand and contract, and that can cause the panel to shift. Now, it's not that the panel shifts by itself. There has to be something that causes the panel to shift. It could happen during transportation if the door is not laid flat during transportation. Not everybody lays them flat. Some people put them on their edge, hit a couple of speed bumps, a couple of bumps, and the panels slowly work their way down to one side. But the most common thing is when the carpenter actually installs your door. Now, if I were a carpenter, I'm not going to be able to cut out hinges while it's standing up or you know, drill for your lock or prepare your door. The carpenter will get the door, lay it on the ground, and put it on its edge. So once it's on its edge, he can cut out his hinges, cut out the locks, install them, prep everything, and he's off to the races when it's time to install the door. But then the panel shifts. Well, I've shifted this panel purposely just for demonstration reasons. Like on one side, this panel is one and three quarter, and on the other side, it's one and five eighths. So golly gee whiz, the panel shifted one eighth of an inch this way. Happens. How do we fix that? Very straightforward. All you would need is a block of wood and a hammer. Anybody can do this, but preferably your carpenter. The panels have a little lip on the edge of them. So you take the smooth part of the block of wood, you lean it up against the panel itself, and you just tap it into place. And the panel will shift over. One, three. And there we go. It just two taps and it shifted over one eighth of an inch. Now, you don't have to be that accurate right now for movie productions, but there we go. One, nine. Yeah, it's perfect. It's centered this way. Sometimes, now, what happened is I just moved the bottom. The top probably didn't move. So you'd have to check the same dimension, top and bottom, on the longer panels. And just by looking at it, I can see that this has to go over just a little bit. So, once your two lines are parallel to each other, you're good to go. What I would suggest is you do it after the door is installed, before it's painted, but after it's installed, that way, once it's hanging on its hinges, it won't get moved around anymore, and then expansion and contraction will happen on its own. So, like I said earlier, that works for the panels themselves, and if the door has vertical dividers up and down the center, those move as well. So that's just how you can square it off.